guys welcome back to my channel for today's video we are doing March favorites and we're doing it kind of laid back with the glam face makeup this is what happens like we do full out glam um, I actually filmed a tutorial today on this look and had a cute shirt on had my hair down and then after that was filmed I had some things to do so it was like hair up sweatshirt time so that's where we're at um, so favorites for the month of March March was my birthday month so I ended up getting a lot of new things so we're just gonna jump in I'm gonna show you basically just makeup today I don't have anything aside from makeup in today's favorites video if you want me to do a separate um, March favorites including other products maybe some food products brushes things of that nature let me know in the comments below but for today we're just gonna be doing makeup so let's get started first thing I'm just gonna get it out of the way it's my primer base for the face Nivea men's post shave balm everybody's been loving it um, as of late because of Nikki tutorials it's a great product it's a great base for my foundation absolutely love it next thing is foundation itself I from the moment I tried this foundation for the first time fell head over heels in love it's what I'm wearing today um, it is the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one I have mine in the shade I actually have two of them I have light beige number zero three which is what's on my face and then I have zero four medium beige for the summertime they were having a sale at CVS buy one get one 50% off so I ended up picking up two of them because why not I had already cat in the back um, I had already heard so many people raving about this foundation that I was like let's just do it because I'm sure it's gonna be great and it is super full coverage um, medium to, to buildable full coverage builds beautifully blends like a dream I love using my um, Real Techniques sponge or this one by Cartel this was just a dollar off of Amazon which I absolutely love as well but it blends out really really nicely gives me great coverage flawless finish love it so much next thing is this this is the photo focus wet and wild all day wear setting spray five bucks for this you don't get a lot of products in here you get 1.52 fluid ounces it is so tiny it smells like gym socks but it is the best setting spray I have ever used for my face I love it so much I will continue to repurchase this for the five dollars because it's really that good if you guys have not tried that out definitely definitely try it out it's a good one next thing is concealers I keep going back to this concealer I have a very big concealer collection but this is like tried and true Maybelline fit me um, I have 25 medium for my face and then I have 10 light for my under eyes I have it on today with another um, product that I'll show you in a minute but this is great it is such a light formula but it gives good coverage natural doesn't cake up under my eyes doesn't settle into fine lines so good love it um, next thing that I was actually talking about is by makeup revolution I picked this up recently at Ulta a couple weeks ago it's their concealer palette I've heard mixed reviews on this this is the ultra cover and conceal palette by makeup revolution this is ten dollars at Ulta it's got a beautiful size mirror here and then you've got eight shades in there this is the light one yes this is light so there's not much in here for me to contour with at all um, but these are some great highlighting and concealing shades you've got some peachy tones here it's a very creamy consistency I was afraid I will be completely honest I was afraid when I first touched these that it was going to be greasy under my eyes but it's not it's a very light borderline greasy ish kind of feeling consistency if that makes sense it's that's not it ah, that's not it that's the next product <laughs> So it is not guys this is bomb honestly I use this to conceal under my eyes after going in with the, the orangey shade peachy shade to conceal any darkness on the inner corner then I'll go in with this one here which is kind of like a neutralizer shade for me anyway and then this one here in the corner is what I use to highlight I kind of bring it down onto my cheekbones so pigmented such a great concealing palette and it's I didn't really swatch much that's that inner corner shade inner corner that's that top corner shade right here that I used to highlight with it is such a good palette it's $10 you get eight pans and I think 
how much do you got in here? Um, you got 10 grams, so it's 0 0.35 ounces. I don't know if that's in each pan. I'm not really good with this whole weight thing, but you get a lot of product, guys. This is a really good palette, especially if you're starting off and you're new to the whole concealing and highlighting bit. Definitely check this out, Ulta Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna link everything down below, so definitely, definitely check that out. And Ulta, you can have it shipped right to your doorstep, so definitely <coughs> a good product. Okay. Let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. Oh, this is the month for eyeshadow palettes for me. Yes, sweet baby Jesus, I finally bit the bullet and got some Makeup Geek. If you guys watch me on Snapchat, if you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, um, it's the Grizzam, you know. I picked this up, okay? I wanna say I ordered my Manny MUA palette with Makeup Geek. Um, on the 2nd of March, it was like the pre-order sale. I ordered mine, it shipped out on the 2nd, had a huge issue with shipping and UPS mail innovations, I hate them. Um, my package was lost in the mail, lost, AKA to me somebody stole it because there's no way, like there's just no way. You made it to my post office, but you didn't make it to me. My post office is right up the street, like I will cut you, I will come get it. Anyway, so I ended up having to email Makeup Geek and letting them know, hey, I am a creator. I need this palette. I've been itching to do a review, tutorials. Let me have it. Where is it? I need a new one. So they finally sent me out another one. Thank you to everybody at Makeup Geek Customer Service. They're really great people. They really care and they listen. So thank you again to everyone at Makeup Geek who helped me get my palette because God, it's so beautiful. I have it on my eyes today. I did a tutorial. I don't know if that's going up first or this, but whatever. It'll be linked down below. Can we just talk about it? Guys, look at it. Manny did a phenomenal job. Manny actually curated, I want to say, ho oh, oh, ho. How many shades did you curate, Manny? Um, one, two, three. I think four shades in here, Manny made. So we've got this beautiful shade up here, Artemis. Love it for the inner corner. It's what's on my eyeballs. Um, no, it isn't, I'm sorry. The other, scratch that. This is a beautiful golden champagne kind of albatrossy inner highlight. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. You can pop it on the lid, you can put it on the inner corner. You can probably even use it on your cheekbones if, you're, um, if your skin tone would benefit from having that on there. But I don't think mine would. Anyway, so that one is beautiful. Luna right here is the absolute most gorgeous, favorite color of mine in this whole palette. It's what's on my, in the center of my little halo thing I got going on. So creamy, buttery, amazing. You've got Beaches and Cream right here. Sora, Manny curated that one. Cosmopolitan, Frappe, Aphrodite, Mars, and Insomnia. Mars is very scratchy when you touch it. Oh my God, like you touch it and it feels like sandpaper. It's very bad, but look, like it's such, it, it, it lies to you. Like you touch that shadow and you're like, oh, this is garbage. But look at that swatch and it blends great. I have it mixed with um, Cosmopolitan. No, I'm lying. I have it mixed with Aphrodite here on the outer corner and inner corner for my halo. Such a beautiful shade, guys. I mean, look at it. And you blend it out and it kind of becomes pinky. You build it up and it's like this beautiful burgundy shade. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I could sit here and talk about this all day long. It's just beautiful. Um, Be uh, Beaches and Cream, um, Frappe, just great shades. This one right here, Insomnia is the most buttery shade and like you touch it and it's butter. It reminds me of Lorac quality. So beautiful, like Max Blue Brown Pigment. You guys have seen it. I'm swatching it just out of like self-love, so. <laughs> um, so beautiful, amazing. I love that palette, guys. I don't know if it's still available. If it is, get your freaking hands on it. Get your makeup loving hands on it because it is a complete must have. Like Makeup Geek makes quality amazing shadows and Manny, like, hello, it's Manny. So beautiful palette, great price, love the mirror. And I will say that it's very nicely made. When I saw this um, first on YouTube, other people, you know, doing videos and stuff, 
I looked at the packaging and I was like, uh, womp, womp, womp. Like, that's kind of cheap looking. It's not. This is very, very heavy and sturdy. It's got a magnetic closure. So it's not going to flip flop open. It's really great for travel. Super sturdy. You've got all the shades here on his little moon logo. So pretty. Like, just really, really classy. Love it, Manny. You did a great job. Amazing. Sticking with Makeup Geek. Um, I picked this up. This was my first Makeup Geek purchase and guys like this is what drew me in. Um, this is the starter kit and it comes with nine shades here and I'll try to remember the shades. You've got Corrupt, you've got Glamorous which is this golden shade here, you've got Bada Bing, you've got, um, crap why am I forgetting your name, Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee, Coco Bear, um, this is Mocha over here, then you've got Unexpected, which is this gorgeous mauve purple color, love that, it's matte, you've got uh, Date Night, no, woo, I caught it, no I didn't, yes I did, hold on, hold on, hold on, Prom Night, <laughs> Prom Night is a gorgeous silvery purple sparkly color, really pretty on the center of the lid. And then you've got Drama Queen here, this really deep, shimmery purple. This is a phenomenal palette. Packaging is gorgeous. It's like a gunmetal, like sturdy, and then the back is kind of like Narzy packaging. Really pretty. This is like the vault collection. Really pretty. Must have shades in here. So I must say, like, I am thoroughly, thoroughly pleased with my Makeup Geek collection so far. Like, this is, this is life. Life. Can we take a picture? Life. Yes. Okay, moving away from Makeup Geek, <laughs> um, this is my most recent purchase. This was actually a gift from my mom and my sister and my aunt for Christmas. They got me a gift card to Sephora and I had to pick this up. I had the Makeup Forever Artist palette in my hand, the Nude Collection, um, Collection 1, which is like the browns, neutrals, etc. I turned around and I saw this. This is by Laura Mercier. This is an older palette. This came out in... Um, it was for the Holiday Collection 2012 or 13. I think 13. Don't quote me. I think it's 13. This is called the I Art Artists Palette. And this is my perfect palette. Like, if I made a palette, this would be it. Because I'm all about my neutral tones, my pops of shimmer, champagne, and my purples. Because brown eyed girls rock purple, obviously beautiful like do you see these shades let me turn it around so you can actually see the names absolutely gorgeous shades this one here is what drew me in African violet that's that purple right there here it's got like a sparkly it's purple but it's got a sparkly golden just I don't even know where to swatch sunset beautiful and I know the camera is not gonna do it justice but it's what drew me in. It is just so pretty. You know, it's not doing it justice. So gorgeous. It's got like a pre, a, like, like I said, like a pink sunset shift to it. It's just so, so pretty. And then you've got all you could ever need in like highlights here. This one, um, Vanilla Nuts. <laughs> this is what I've been using to set my base. You've got this one here, which is Sparkling Dew, which is a really pretty inner corner highlight. Like, really pretty. I'm not going to swatch all of them. If you guys want a swatch video on this, let me know. But it's just so gorgeous. Like, this is my kind of palette. This shade right here, so different. It's called Bamboo. Here I go swatching again. It's like a pewter with, like, gold in it. It's satin. It's just so pretty. If you want swatches, full swatches, let me know. Laura Mercier. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Next thing I've been loving this um, month is highlights. And these are not new. This, these are by e.l.f. I actually have one on my cheek. These are my favorite highlighters from the drugstore. Hands down, favorite highlighters, bar none. So these are the baked highlights by e.l.f. Guys, if you have never tried the baked highlights by e.l.f., you're missing out. Look at this. Like, ba-bam. Can we say? Just beautiful. On my cheeks today, I have blush gems. This is my favorite one. It is like a champagne, sparkly, and look at all this product that you get. It's like insane. You get so much product. It's just, you're not gonna be able to see it because I am a hairy beast, but it is just so, so pretty. I just, I love it. It's on my face. Like, 
the face speaks okay so that's blush gems this one is moonlit pearl which is like more of like your standard like light champagne -y gold not champagne -y. it doesn't have pink in it at all it's just like champagne not did I say champagne again it's like a gold it's just and again not gonna do justice you get so much product because they're baked so they're ele you know they're raised three dollars three dollars Pinktastic is this one. It's like your golden champagne with pink swirls in there, which is what gives it the champagne effect. Like, can you please? It's just so pretty. Like, I am all about that highlight, beam me up look. So pretty. So, I don't know if you can see them, but they're just gorgeous, inexpensive. I've been using these every single day for the month of March, and I think I'm gonna continue on because they're just so pretty. They're versatile too, you can use them on the lid. I actually popped um, Moonlit Pearls on the center of my lid where I put Luna. Luna. Where I put Luna, I just dabbed a little bit of the blush gems on the center of my lid. You can use it on the inner corner, you can use it on your freaking Cupid's bow, like it's just bomb, like I love these highlights. Okay, shut up. Blush. I have two. This is by Makeup Revolution. This is their matte blush in the shade Nude. Guys, this is beyond life. Beyond life. So smooth, silky, five bucks. The most perfect blush ever. Like, it's so pretty. I have it on my cheeks. You literally, like, I have to, I'm telling you, so pigmented that I go in with my brush I will dab it in there and I have to dab it on the back of my hand or on a clean towel something before I go on my face because it is super, super pigmented. Buttery, bomb, favorite shade ever. It's just gorgeous. Goes with multiple looks. Really pretty. And it's matte, so there's no shimmer. Love it. Next is by Too Faced Love Flush in the shade Love Hangover. This is gorgeous. It's like a peachy... Spring, summer, just, and I, of course, just watch it on the dumbest part of my hand. So pretty, very pigmented, long lasting, guys. This thing, this is a 16 hour blush, and yes, yes. By Too Faced, if you need a long wearing blush, definitely check out the Love, um, what are they, the Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blushes. I know they have a set, it's like a long box with like eight or nine of them in there, the whole collection. This is just a smaller, you know, just a smaller one. Um, amazing. You need to check out these blushes. They're great. Great, great, great. Okay. Let's move on to lips. I have a couple lip things. Actually, let's do the eyeliner. This one, Marc Jacobs. This is the Highline Highliner Gel Crayon. I have it on my waterline, and it's, well, I have it on the inner and outer portion. It's amazing. Gel liner, twist up. This came in the birthday set with a little lipstick, which is really good too, but I haven't used it. It's so creamy, guys, like I barely touched it. So creamy, once it sets, it stays, but you have a little bit of time to like work if you wanna do some lower lash line work, smudge it out with a shadow. Really great liner for the waterline and the lash line. Really, really great, love it. Okay, lips is last. I can only find one of these because they've been traveling with me every single day since I got them, because I love them. These are the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Satin Lipsticks. So good. This is Touch of Pink. Ha ha. One of my favorites. Tina, they're not going to be able to see that there. One of my favorites. It's just a beautiful, every every day, gorgeous pink. Like, no fuss. Like, you pop it on. You don't have to worry about it. So great. Moisturizing. Also, Touch of Nude um, is the other one that I have, and it's gorgeous. It's just a nude shade. And then there's also Touch of Berry, which I don't have, but I heard is really good as well. Okay, moving on. Um, lip liner. This is by Essence. It's in the shade Soft Berry. I have it on my lips today. Again, creamy, beautiful, bomb for every day. Matches multiple different, multiple different. Goes with many lipsticks, guys. Pinks, nudes, really good. Okay. And speaking of, ugh, speaking of, I'm all over the place. <laughs> lipsticks. These are liquid lipsticks by Essence. Who would have thought? I came across these at Ulta when I was shopping aimlessly. I found these and they were so cheap, like $2.50. Liquid lipsticks, they're not matte. 
So this is the packaging. It kind of looks like a lipstick, you know, in there, but that's the gloss and then the square packaging. Really cute for, you know, inexpensive lipsticks. I have three of them. This is in the shade Casanova. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Beauty Secret. So stupid. Beauty Secret. I'm notorious for reading like miscellaneous words on like ingredients and thinking it is the name of the lipstick. So that's it there. It's like a pink, very moisturizing, glossy, gives a nice shine to the lips. Really, really pretty. Um, is that the one that I have on? No, it isn't. The one that I have on is this one. This is almost real. It's your nude. So pretty. I'll swatch that for you even though it's on my lips just a nude color and it's pigmented do you see and it's like a liquid lipstick two dollars and fifty cents really good and then this one I haven't worn yet well I did on snapchat if you saw that haha <laughs> but this is make a statement it's like a it looks darker in the tube than it really is like on the lips for me it gets like kind of bright I don't know I don't know if I like it too much for me but there it is right there coming up kind of red on camera from my this angle but in person it's like a like a brick reddish brown kind of I don't know I don't it's not my kind of it's not my cup of tea but these two are my faves love 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 all right guys I think that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed like I said if you want to know favorites for um, the month of March whether it be brushes other items food items household items hair care, everything else, I can throw that all into an additional video if that's something that you guys want to see. Let me know, comment down below, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video. Check out the description box for all the links for all of the items that I showed you here today. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.